Hi future scientists, I am Adam. Let us discuss the different types of chemical reactions. Synthesis reaction. In this reaction, two or more simple substances combine to form a new complex substance. So it is also known as the combination reaction. An example is 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. Liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen combine to produce a new substance, water vapor, releasing energy in the process to propel the rocket. Synthesis reaction can be represented as A plus B gives AB. In a synthesis reaction, there is only one product, but you can have many reactants. Magnesium and fluorine react to make one product, magnesium fluoride, and we write it as Mg plus F2 gives MgF2. Synthesis analogy. Cooking simple ingredients like pasta, water, tomatoes, basil, and olive oil gives us a yummy pasta dinner. Decomposition reaction. In this reaction, a complex substance breaks down into two or more simpler substances. An example is 2H2O gives 2H2 plus O2. Electrolysis of water is a decomposition reaction. When electric current is passed through water, water breaks down into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen. So decomposition is the exact opposite of synthesis. Decomposition can be represented as AB gives A plus B. In a decomposition reaction, there is only one reactant, but you can have many products. Decomposition analogy. Here is a sandwich with avocado spread, lettuce, tomato, cucumber slices, and sprinkled flax seeds. Deconstructing the sandwich into its individual components mirrors the process of decomposition, where a compound breaks down into simpler substances. Single replacement reaction or single displacement reaction. In this reaction, an element replaces another element that is part of a compound. As an example, zinc plus hydrochloric acid gives zinc chloride and hydrogen. Zn plus 2HCl gives ZnCl2 plus H2. So zinc here replaces the hydrogen in the hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gases released. Single replacement reaction can be represented as A plus BC gives AC plus B. Element A replaces element B in the compound BC, resulting in the formation of a new compound AC and the release of element B. Single replacement reaction has an element and a compound as reactants and a different compound and a different element as products. Single replacement analogy. Here we have a bowl of ice cream topped with nuts and a separate plate of chocolate chips. Now we replace the nuts with the chocolate chips. Similar to a single replacement reaction where one element replaces another in a compound, in this analogy, the chocolate chips replace the nuts in the ice cream to create a new variant, ice cream with chocolate chips and the plate of nuts are left alone. Double replacement reaction. Let us understand double replacement reaction with an example. Potassium hydroxide reacts with copper two sulfate to form copper two hydroxide and potassium sulfate. Two KOH plus CuSO4 gives CuOH2 plus K2SO4. So the potassium one plus ion from the KOH combines with the SO4 two minus ion from CuSO4 to form K2SO4. While the copper two plus ion from the CuSO4 combines with the OH one minus ion from the KOH to form CuOH2. So we can say that in a double replacement reaction,
The positive ion or the cation from one compound combines with the negative ion or the anion of the other compound and vice versa, leading to the formation of two new compounds. The reaction between silver nitrate and sodium chloride to form silver chloride and sodium nitrate. The silver 1 plus ion from the silver nitrate combines with the chloride 1 minus ion from the sodium chloride to form silver chloride. While the Na1 plus ion from the sodium chloride combines with the nitrate 1 minus ion from the silver nitrate to form sodium nitrate. The general equation for a double replacement reaction is AB plus CD gives AD plus CB. So here AB and CD represent two compounds, AD and CB represent two new compounds formed after the reaction. Double replacement reaction analogy. We have two breakfast bowls here. Cereal with banana slices and oatmeal with berries. The toppings are swapped and we have cereal with berries and oatmeal with banana slices. Just like in a double replacement reaction where the ions swap places to form new compounds, here the toppings from each bowl are swapped to create two new breakfast combinations with different toppings. Combustion reaction. In a combustion reaction, a fuel, which is a hydrocarbon, burns in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor and the release of energy. Another example is a combustion of propane, C3H8. Propane reacts with oxygen to form CO2 and H2O. The general form of a combustion reaction is CXHY plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O plus energy. CXHY is the fuel where X and Y take on different values depending on the type of fuel used. In methane, X equals 1 and Y equals 4. In propane, X equals 3 and Y equals 8. In octane, C8H18, X is 8 and Y is 18. Combustion analogy. Let's use the analogy of roasting a marshmallow over a fire to represent combustion. The marshmallow represents a hydrocarbon compound. The oxygen from the air reacts with the marshmallow during the combustion. Carbon dioxide and water vapor are produced. Heat is released during the combustion process, which causes the marshmallow to heat up, melt, and potentially brown or char on the outside. Practice questions. CaCO3 gives CaO plus CO2. This is a decomposition reaction where calcium carbonate breaks down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. 2. Aluminum reacts with oxygen to form aluminum oxide. 4Al plus 3O2 gives 2Al2O3. That is a synthesis reaction. 3. Cu plus 2AgNO3 gives CuNO3 2 plus 2Ag. This is a single replacement reaction. In this reaction, the copper replaces the silver in the silver nitrate to form copper 2 nitrate and silver is released. 4. 2KClO3 gives 2KCl plus 3O2 or potassium chlorate decomposes into potassium chloride and oxygen. So it's a decomposition reaction. Five, barium chloride plus sodium sulfate gives barium sulfate plus sodium chloride. This is a double replacement reaction. The barium two plus ion from the barium chloride combines with the SO4 two minus ion from the sodium sulfate to form barium sulfate while the Na1 plus ion from the sodium sulfate combines with the chloride ion from the barium chloride to form sodium chloride. 6. 2C6H14 plus 19O2 gives 12CO2 plus 14H2O. In this reaction, hexane reacts with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. So it is a combustion reaction. 
PBNO32 plus 2KI gives PBI2 plus 2KNO3. So the lead 2 plus ion combines with the iodine 1 minus ion to form the PBI2. And the K1 plus ion reacts with the NO3 1 minus ion to form the KNO3. So it is a double replacement reaction. There you have it. Types of reactions with examples and food analogies. Please subscribe, like and share and I will see you with more fun science. Happy learning. Thank you.